Bill, it's great to be here again, and as always, you've got something new to talk about and show me, and I think it's one of the things that really interests me is you know the developments from a scientific and R&D research that you're doing on your study. You know, you've got to you're going to break some new boundaries. Yeah, Ben, we're um we're currently uh, taking DNA samples on all the cows. All there's going to be 1,300 samples submitted. They're just trying to really get their the genomic information in there so that they can so that they can really get that information and get it across all breeds and all family lines. It'll just increase the picture we have of the genetics of every animal. The, the real advantage is to the client is that we will be able to describe these animals more accurately so that these figures will show you exactly what they're doing. And the smaller the breed, the smaller the sample. And uh, when, you, when you spread yourself over several breeds and, and get it, you really are getting to, to finding what, what, what's the best sort of thing. So fellas, that's talking about the inside of the animals, and you know I think it's really exciting for you guys and for you know for your customers. But you know we've been filming the bulls today. Incredible lineup of bulls as always. Um, tell me a bit of what's yeah. on offer. That, that's a great question, Ben, because I, I think the outside is is what we're we're all about. And we, we we need that, and we talk about figures sometimes with, to the detriment of this. Yeah, they they do have to look physically right and and and, and be that saleable commodity. And we're, we're just getting closer and closer. I think every year they're looking better and better as we. We, we consistently get the black colour or the red colour as we're searching and uh, it's just a better line of, of beefy bulls, isn't yeah. it, Tom? Yeah, and we're still doing, we're still structurally assessing and focusing on that aspect. It's a balancing act. They've got to look, look right and they've also got to perform on paper as well. So tell me about some of the sidelines. Um, this year we've got first drop of K500 yep. calves coming through, which is a um, homebred sire, which goes back to Thomas Grade up. He's performed really well for us. They're they look the part, they're square, um, great feet, and one of the really things that they do really, really well is their temperament. They are just really quiet. Every single one of them is quiet. Yeah, and they also perform well on paper. They've got great carving ease to growth spread. This bull has is, 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 is got all the figures in that, but he, he's, he's, he's stacking it all together too in his phenotype. Other bulls we're using, Bold is the new bull that we're bringing in from the States, CCO he, Boulder. He goes back to Hoover Dam, which was a great Angus bull, um, very thick, easy doing type animal. Um, so fellas, tell us a bit about the Red Angus offering. Yeah, well, we've got some really good bulls this year by H61 Henry. Um, he is, I don't think I've ever had a bull like him in that he's, he's in the top, let say 1%, but certainly 5% for, for birth and calving ease. Then his yearling weight's up in the top 5%, and then on top of that, he's marbling, and that is in the top 1%. He is, he's off the graph with his, um, with his indexes, so he, he's really an exciting young calf with a lot of thickness and, and easy to look at, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, Henry himself has the highest supermarket index by, but I think it's, it's at least $5 above the next animal, which is a pretty wow. big gap. Yeah, figures don't lie like that. Yeah. So, fellas, tell me about the Premier Bull. Yeah, Premier was... Uh, is a bullet that's indexing very well in the States. He's, he's low birth weight, high growth and, and great carcass bull. We're very happy with, with the progeny we've seen so far. So happy that we've actually used him in the composite program. We haven't, um, you know, you've got to hold a bull in pretty high regard to, from the Red Angus side to then put it into the composite program. Fellas, as always, you've got a heap of happy customers, so, you know, tell us a few of the stories from this year. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're very lucky. We've got some very talented customers. <laughs> And uh, this year we've, we've had some really good success with the excellent beating quality of the MLA awards. And Angus Tinks and his family have just uh, won an award there and presented a, a, a trophy, I think it was in Scone. And uh, Angus said it was a great night and he tried to drink his MLA um, <laughs> levies out. <laughs> with Dexter coming in and everyone talking about it, for breeders like yourselves that you know are focused on carcass and the end product, um, it, it's going to potentially mean a lot for your clients, isn't it? Oh, definitely, Ben. It's especially um, composite clients where we're really we're pairing quality and quantity together. So we're maintaining the marbling while increasing the yield. That's where the real advantages from Dexter are going to be. Fellas, it's always been great spending time with you, and um, fantastic bulls, and best of luck for your autumn sale. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben.